psychological and social problems, but it doesn't have to. Dr. Eric Bernstein is helping hundreds of patients who suffer from this disorder with the use of lasers, and he joins us now to talk more about this procedure. Dr. Bernstein, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. I actually have rosacea and have had it for a long time. My father has it. How can you get rosacea? Because we've got 14 million people out there that have it and three quarters don't even know it. Yeah, I have it too, and I, I'm a dermatologist and I didn't even know I had it. Basically, rosacea tends to occur more commonly in light-skinned people. And what people don't realize is it's really from the sun. The sun causes growth of abnormal blood vessels that come on our skin, and we tend to flush, for example, if we exercise, drink alcohol, or drink something hot. Chocolate cake does it for me for some reason. That's Figures, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't know Could if it's broccoli. the caffeine or, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> it's got to be chocolate cake. <laughs> broccoli, I'm fine. I don't know why. Uh, along with the, the light-skinned people, does it strike at any particular age? Well, I mean, it takes time to develop these blood vessels mm -hmm. from the sun. What happens is the sun damages our skin, and very few people really attribute rosacea to being a problem with the sun. And so it usually strikes in the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And then it stays with you, doesn't it? Absolutely. Once the vessels come, they don't go away. And the way I look at it, when, when the vessels do come, they sort of multiply. Once you get a few, it starts to kind of steamroll because the sun hits those vessels, they create more vessels. And the vessels that we get flush more easily than our normal facial vessels. In fact, when you look at the symptoms here that you can see on your screen, it causes the redness, as you said, uh, on your cheeks, your nose, your chin, your forehead, those, those small vessels in your face that just don't go away. Bumps or pimples on your face, should people who have acne be thinking about this or not? Well, yes. I mean, rosacea, you know, there is a component of rosacea where people get acne bumps. There's also a component where people don't get any bumps. They just get the flushing. Mm -hmm. Or for those of us who are really lucky, you, you get both. And so, yeah, I mean, if you're an adult and you notice that, you know, your face gets red when you're drinking coffee or have a glass of wine, right. um, you should think about rosacea. I, I don't like to put labels on people unless it helps with treatment. But if you realize you have rosacea, one of the easiest ways, and to me the only way really, to remove the blood vessels with laser. Let's talk about the lasers for a second because they, I mean, it's a breakthrough revolutionary thing. When you, when you talk about rosacea and you've treated it before, it's always been a cream or a gel that you put on your face and, and that's right. pretty much all you can do. And the cream or gel, you know, will help the bumps. But in people that don't have bumps and they're given a cream or a gel just to reduce the redness, can help a little bit. But what amazes me is that there are lasers around that have been able to remove these vessels for 10 years. And I think it's really our fault as laser surgeons, not to get the word out that, to hey, in there. it's really easy to treat this. Let's look at some of those if we can, because you have some before and after patients that you brought, and you can really tell the difference between them. Oh, yeah, it's pretty dramatic. This is actually someone I treated about 10 years ago, and I performed two treatments about six weeks apart, and it's not an unusual result. And once you get to the point where the veins are gone, like we see on the after photo, mm -hmm. If people wear sunscreen every day, and I mean every day, not just when you go out, right. it takes a long time for the veins to come back. In fact, most people don't realize the largest amount of sun exposure we get is in the car. Oh, and sure. ultraviolet A comes right through the window, so it usually takes me you know, 15 minutes to laser the left side of someone's face and five minutes to laser the right. So protecting yourself on a daily basis is the key. Really important. Here's another one, and that's a drastic improvement there. Will, how long will that last if she uses a sunscreen? Well, it can last a very, very long time, 10, 15 years. I mean, it really is a function of sun exposure. So, um, Is it an expensive procedure? Um, it depends. You know, it can range from 450 to 950 dollars a treatment, at least in my office, depending upon how extensive the veins are and how many different lasers you need to use to get rid of it. But then you say that's $2,000, for instance. With a lot of rosacea patients, in fact, about 70% say that they have psychological problems because of this. It can be embarrassing. Oh, absolutely. It can be embarrassing. And in fact, uh, on my way in here, I was discussing with someone the fact that I was going to talk about rosacea and redness of the face. They said, oh, you mean it drinkers get right. from alcoholism. And the fact is, alcohol or hot coffee will make the veins that you have get red or dilate, but it doesn't cause a condition. So just even a sip of wine can cause people to get red, and that's a common misconception. All right, interesting information today and some great help for people out there if they're interested in doing the laser treatment. You can really see the difference between the two technology marching on. Dr. Bernstein, thank you for being with us. Thanks this for morning. having me. We appreciate it. If you'd like to talk to Dr. Bernstein about this process of laser uh, removal of your rosacea, you can call him at 1-888-480-9099.
in other health news this morning.